Welcome back everyone, Ryan here from the London Craftsman and thank you for coming back. And today's video is a short and sweet video and it's um, all about a little gadget that I have that helps me out in the spray room. And what it is, is a tiny little stick siphon hose. So the blue part goes in whatever you want to suck out. For example, if this is my container of fuel, I'll dip it in there. And this hose will go into the part that I want to offload. So anyone who sprays who or who aspires to spray or basically does any form of painting, whether it be MDF, um, ply, any type of furniture spraying, um, you probably want some form of heating. And what I have is a SIP Fireball heater, medium size. And what that does is creates a nice hot atmosphere in my spray room for my paint to dry. Ultimately, the first coat that goes directly onto the MDF dries as quick as possible. So within 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, that first coat is dry. So what that does is eliminate the um, risk of the MDF flex or the grain or whatever you want to call the MDF um, surface to raise because you don't want that, do you? Everyone has problems with MDF. We all know that unless you go down the new material routes, which is a lot more expensive, twice the price. Um, I have never used it, but I've been told about it a few times. Hydro Figo, something along those lines, which apparently is perfect to spray, doesn't raise, great to machine. But again, it's twice the cost. So with my, with my, my heater, um, I eliminate that need. I could use MRMDF, which I get for the same price as standard MDF from my supplier, who cuts up all my material for me. And um, yeah, so I need this constantly. Um, whether I'm just spraying a small job, a big job, I've always got it on. And a lot of the time I aim at the pack of materials, whether the materials are stacked up against the wall. Not completely aimed up against it, but maybe two meters away, just aim the space heater at it for five minutes to warm the pack up so it's not freezing cold. Also, the perfect thing about the heater is as your spray room is warming up, so is your paint. So as you can see behind me, my Graco 695 um, Ultra Max, that sprays, you know, all these airless sprayers spray unthinned paint. But if you're going down the emulsion route, you probably, you may have problems with blockages and spray patterns, so, which I did a few weeks back. So basically, by having a warmer paint, it's less likely that you're going to have blockages or any pattern issues with your spray fan. Um, I never really have, to be fair, once or twice, but recently I have. So it's made me think, always keep the warm room anyway, and having that warm room is actually warming my paint up. So another tip is, if you haven't already loaded your paint up, keep it somewhere warm at room temperature not workshop temperature or outdoors temperature, otherwise it's just going to be a lot stiffer. Anyway, going off track, I want to get back onto the gadget that you may need to use in the future. Um, it's, a, it's a pump and instead of filling up these jerry cans and um, either trying to fill it up from there um, five litres at a time or you're trying to get a funnel and um, fill up your heater with your big jerry cans, um, I have actually got one of these and what it is is a tiny little stick siphon hose so the blue part goes in whatever you want to suck out for example if this is my container of fuel i'll dip it in there and this hose will go into the part that i want to offload so this will go into my heater my heat is already full up at the moment it's full to the brim I already spilt out a little bit trying to move it get it into position so what i'll show you at the moment i'll, I'll pour it into this container and what it does is it all it does is run off the two giant batteries. What are they? The D size batteries. And it simply comes with a hose with a little tiny little rubber O-ring. So make sure you put that rubber O-ring in, otherwise you may get leaks. And that just clicks on, like so. You know, not the tightest fit in the world, and it's not perfect, but these aren't, you know, 100 pound pumps, they're 10 pound pumps. So you have them for a year maybe. 
They even come with guarantee. So if they break, just take them back from Amazon. So they're not the greatest made pumps in the world, but they're perfect. Perfect for me anyway, lifesaver to be fair. So what I'm gonna do is dip that in. Hopefully I've got enough fuel in there and get my jerry can and turn it on. Cause there's not a lot in there. There we go. Yeah. It comes out at a fair rate. Can't complain. There we go. It still works even if there's air bubbles. And it's a game changer for me because it just means I can, um, from my tank outside, because I've got a tank that holds about 100 litres, because I go through maybe 20 litres a week, possibly around that. I can fill up one of these from my tank, bring it in, which is 25 litres, come in and completely fill up my heater up in one go. That's going to save me 10, 15 minutes over the space of filling up over time and also eliminates me spilling it everywhere and getting diesel everywhere because it actually stinks. Um, and these also have other purposes too. So just think about what else you can use these for. Um, you can use them for fish tanks when you're cleaning them out. You can use them for filling up your car if you run out. So have one in your um, car. You can have them from all, all sorts. Um, but for me, um, it's the space heater in the spray room. Um, keeping my spray room as warm as I can. Um, even when it's not particularly cold outside, I'll still have this on. So it's a, it's a lifesaver for something that's only £10. Um, I've used it four or five times. And um, yeah, it's going to save me lots of time and effort in the future. Um, and let me just show you the box before I go. There we go. It's one of those. Automatic fuel, fluid, water, siphon, pump. And let me read it out a little bit. So it pumps up to five to six quarts of liquid per minute. American, obviously can pump petrol, gas, water, oil, other non-corrosive liquids for use in garages, aquariums, basements, bathrooms, shops, the house, um, all sorts. So there we go. Always worth having these little gadgets, isn't it? You know, and uh, just having it about whether it's you've got one in your, whether you've got one in the spray room and one in the car, or one in the spray room, one in your house, I'd definitely recommend having one in your spray room if you're doing what I do anyway at the moment, which is painting furniture, MDF panels, sheet material, um, and keeping your paint warm. So there you go, guys. A nice little gadget to buy, um, really cheap. So um, snap yourself up one, and um, I'll leave a link in the description below as usual. Um, if you've enjoyed the video and you found it helpful at all, just um, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. and um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Bye for now.